Welcome back to Avatar Four Nations. Last episode, we had a major, major war between our own temple, the Western Air Temple, or the Southern Air Temple, or what was the Western Air Temple, until we took it and then became the... Look, it's very confusing, but I decided because we're mostly on the west side of the map, we take the title of Western Air Temple, rather than being the Southern Air Temple and the North. Look, it's, it doesn't matter. It's not important. What is important, though, is it gave us two of the kingdoms we need to form the Air Nomad Empire to unify all of the airbenders under one powerful dynasty. That's right, my cabbage's dynasty. So, what do we need? Well, we need to take 80%. Yeah, because it's an empire level type. We need to control 80% of the du jour realm of the Air Nomads. We currently control 52%. If we take the Eastern Air Temple, I have a feeling that's going to give us everything we need. Because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 provinces there. Compared to Northern Air Temple. Which right now has... Let's check the du jour size of normal Northern Air Temple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, Eastern Air Temple is slightly larger. Although that still won't give us... Now that I'm running the numbers in my head. That still won't give us the 80% we need. Shit. Okay then. Um. Fine. It, it's very, it, it, it's just a little bit under. Damn it, that's really annoying. Okay, then, so, uh, we'll take out Eastern Air Temple next, then. And we'll see, that will give us just this sort of exile temple. That's where all the previous rulers of the Air Temples have ran off to. Uh, and, and they've sort of gone into hiding. Like, this lady here, Hainan Jampa of Gursa, was the ruler of the Western Air Temple, obviously, before we took it. We also had, uh, Dorje the Usurper, when we took the, took complete control of the Southern Air Temple, also fled to the Northern Air Temple. So this is going to be uh, a site filled with our enemies. We're also going to have to go to war with Earth Kingdom to try and get the, the other du jour provinces of the Northern Air Nomads there. Man, this is going to be messy, but it's going to be kind of interesting. So how are we doing in terms of claims so far? We've got nothing. <laughs> We've got absolutely nothing. We've basically just got to wait until we get some claims. Claim Eastern Air Temple. Now we do have a... The issue is we press his claim, and because he's an equal level title, he'll take the temple and nothing will happen. If we had any claims on, um... If we had any claims on Dutchy, so for example, if there are any Jutes kicking around, say, say if, there's, if there are any claimants to this province, or if there are any claimants to this one, no, there's not. That's a real shame. We could have invited them to court, push their claims, and then vassalize them. That would have helped speed things along a little bit, but we won't worry about it too much. I'm kind of expecting us to die soon. We're 73. We're a veteran of many, many wars. Our son... Monk Oolong is 43. He's unmarried, so we've basically got a lot to do as this dude. He's also a legendary airbender, so he's going to be very, very cool to play as. Are there any other cool societies worth joining? I mean, as an owner of two of the four air temples, we sort of have... Or the majority, I should say, of the air temples at this point, because we control 51%. We should be definitely remaining part of the Outer Council in hindsight. I feel like by not doing that, we're basically just screwing the pooch a little bit. So, let's... Oh, I was just about to convene the... Uh, I was just about to convene the other council, but someone's beating me to it. Here's that Tashi Rapper, so this is the Grang Elder of the Northern Air Temple. We should probably mark the special interest, right? So keep an eye on what they're doing. You know, sort of uh, keep some keep some intrigue, perhaps. This would be kind of cool in Holy Fury because with the new Sway and Antagonize features, we'd be able to potentially antagonize the other rulers of the Air Temples into, you know, playing against us, you know, launching these blood feuds type of thing against them. But that's obviously something for the future. You know, we're, we're, we're playing in a post-Holy Fury world, but I'm playing a pre-Holy Fury mod. So there's a lot of stuff I already do miss from Holy Fury, and that's one of them. It appears that Tashi Repper has decided that the time has come again for the meeting of the Elders of all the Air Temples. Um, I would definitely be there. Well, seeing as we control two of them, like I said, I feel like that's definitely something we need to do. All members of the Outer Council, d weeks later, it's been two days, all the Council have assembled at Tashi Repper's request. The meeting is to, be pro is to begin. As always... As the one who called the meeting, Tashi Rapper will choose the first point of discussion. We must abandon conflict. No, our current policy is the best. We, There we go. We want to continue on. Nice. That's going to keep us pragmatic. Not that these laws apparently do anything. We've, we've tried to force it to be aggressive multiple occasions. They voted yes sometimes and it's changed nothing. They voted no sometimes and still nothing has changed. We must stand firmer against all threats. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go for that one. Council made a serious mistake. Uh, safety over comfort, I agree. We never needed to trade with outsiders. Yep, fuck off traders. And we've got... I wonder if that gives us any unique access to... I was thinking maybe we should try that out just to see if it gives us any military, but I doubt it does in hindsight. She's still part of the Outer Council because she's a landed air nomad and was at once the ruler of a temple. 
Although, she will lose her seat eventually, because obviously she doesn't control a temple. We control two. This kid's actually allowed on the te uh, on the council now. He wasn't part of it before. Uh, we're the leader of the Elder Council. Yeah, of course we are. And this guy's the next expected leader. Grang out Tashi. So we should probably try and get on his good side as our next character. We'll choose to promote these alternative ideas. So she's a nihilist. She wants to promote nihilism. Uh, no, we're never going to promote that. I'm sorry. Things will stay as they are. I bid you all farewell. Overall, absolutely nothing was achieved. Right, uh, what do we want to try and set up then? I'm thinking... I'm thinking everything's fine the way it is, to be honest with you. We've got abolished council power. We, I would like to take full centralization, but we need legalism level 5, which is going to take us a serious amount of time right now. Um, is there anywhere with higher legalism than us, though? Some provinces around... Like, this province next to Barsing Se does. Uh, although I imagine we're still absolutely dwarfing them here. Yeah... Unfortunately, we're not really going to be able to get much, are we? Look at this in level 4, level 4, level 4, 4. Yep, they've all... I'm oh, sorry, level 3 for all of these. Yep. All right, well, that's a waste of time then. Don't worry about it. What about military organization? Surely we've dwarfed everyone on that one. Yeah, we definitely have. Look at that. We've got level 4. The next highest one is is level 3. Do you want to maybe get uh, maritime practices for some boats? That might, might not be a bad idea. Looks like... What are they up to? Maritime practices. Oh, my God, we're... Basically the same as... Wait, we're way ahead of them now. Yeah, okay, we're, we're basically just trouncing everyone in tech, right? I'm thinking then, as this character, seeing as, you know, we're just building up claims. Let's see if we can't do something with the factory. We built this factory a long time ago and it's really not doing anything for us. So I'm just going to build it up. It doesn't... I'm not going to predict anything in particular. A, a lot of them don't work. Like, the luxury factory is broken and doesn't give the vassal opinion. Um, what about, like... So, is this... I'm assuming it's not a global modifier. So, so, you can affect it... So, you can make it so these bonuses affect the character, right? So, for example, the plus 2% morale for armies affects the character, which in turn affects all of his troops. However, for certain buildings, like, for example, the uh, the training grounds, right? Gives 10% um, a morale of, of armies. That will only affect the armies from that province. So, this goods factory, to me, seems completely useless, seeing as we get no troops from there. And it's only going to affect the troops from the factory. So, what's the point? In fact, a lot of these, I'm kind of finding myself asking, what the hell's the point? Because it doesn't provide troops. So, giving guard morale an extra 3%. Saying that, though, it is technically the hospital level holding. So, I believe it affects everything in the... I believe it affects the province. I think it's a provincial modifier, rather than a holding modifier. Because it affects the disease resistance of the province? You know what? I'm not sure. This is a system that obviously I've never had any experience for because it is just a unique to this mod. So, uh, fuck it. You know what we'll do? We'll give it a test, right? Let's take a look here. Disease resistance is 37%. Let's build the chemical plant. Let's see if it affects our taxes and our disease resistance. If it goes up another 10% and if our taxes go down 0.5, then I, I'm more comfortable assuming, but that could just be, again, the regular hospital stuff. Um, we can only try, sure. And we fulfilled, a, we built a war chest. Shit, I wasn't expecting that. Right, so that's going to be done 8, 80, 8th of July, uh, 8th of August, sorry. So our current tax, uh, 31.39. So at the end of the month, we're actually expecting it to drop to just a, around 31. Let's wait and see if that is the case. Uh, absolutely not. No, it's actually gone up, if anything. Ah, has the disease resistance worked? It has. Man, it'd be so much nicer if there was, like, a provincial modifier that this added rather than this. But, okay, fair enough. Oh, that actually gives disease resistance if you take the uh, the non-trading aspect. I don't think we need that. I don't think we need that. I don't think on top of everything else we've got right now that that's necessary. We're already at 47% and we have a very, very slightly upgraded factory. Okay, then. Um, I mean, how can we test it? How the hell can I test it? Let me think. Uh, spirituality to liege. That would be a good one to test. I don't think this is going to work. That's just the way, it, because of how, how I saw they've designed the other buildings, I think this will just not work at all. We'll give it a go. So, our current spirituality sits at, oh, we'll be able to see it added to the, the, uh, the, to the additive list there. Right, so we're looking at 21.84. It's a new good friend is what I need. Yeah, that's fine. 21.84. We should be going up to 21.94. We've got to wait till the end of the month to get it to tick over. All right, there we go. And... 21.95. Oh, shit. It does actually work. That's interesting. Unless that was just a coincidence, but I don't think it was. 
Alright then, so maybe this does work as a provincial modifier, which would affect all the troops of the province. Right, good. Okay, then that's fine. That's all I wanted to check. In that case, I'm more than happy to go for these goods factories to give morale of armies. I'm more than happy to go for basically anything that's going to buff up our troops. Weapons factory would obviously be very good. Armor factory might not be relevant because I believe only the Fire Nation can get armor. It's sort of like tanks, right? Um, yeah, let's not worry about that too much. Research lab would be a good idea. Technology spread rate plus 25% and cultural tech points as well. That seems like a pretty decent idea to me. So we'll wait for this to be done and then we'll head into that. Um, intrigue? Monk Sotan? My son. Oh, I didn't realize you were my son. I'm sorry. We need a new spy master so we can make it our rival. So this must be someone we educated. I'll make it our son. He seems pretty appropriate. We'll send you to study tech from our own province, eh? Oh, because it, it counts as a right, barony of Cramdo is, a, is an enemy one. I have to say, that's a weird feature. Um, honestly, I don't really want you doing anything, so I'm just going to have you spy master. Uh, you can oversee construction, seeing as we're making a shit ton of gold. Like an actual metric fuck ton of gold right now. Right, um, yeah, let's get these goods factories completely built up then. This seems like a very good investment to me. Especially as it's also giving tax income too. So that seems like it will subsidize the costs of everything else in the factory. That's it. That's not a bad idea. I love that the trade route... Oh, shit. Ugh. Expensive, but fine. Um, Yeah, that's very expensive. Holy shit. For a single province as well. Good lord. Now, I haven't had much luck with the duchies. They may have taken that system out, so I'm just going to go province to province and see how it goes. All right. Western Air Temple has instituted the absolute rule law. Nice to see my sons follow in our footsteps of being an absolute tyrant. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, goods factories are done. Weapons factories gives non-bender morale, guard morale, and retinue size. Oh, it gives retinue size. That's very, very good then. We definitely, definitely want that. That's given us a total retinue size increase of 10,050. That's huge. Oh my god, we're going to be a, a juggernaut when we're done. Right, let's build the next level of hospital complex, or industrial complex in this case. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and make some friends with people. Um, what's this? Little, another war chest? Okay, because it doesn't give a success effect. Right. So it's kind of pointless in that regard. Okay, fair enough. Why not? I don't like you either. I don't like you and I don't like you at all, Nobu. Typical Nobu. Right, how are we doing? Uh, we're going to fight... Who? Oh, we're going to fight my son, the Duke of the Western Air Temple. Uh, sure. Time to duel has arrived. He is a powerful bender. We are, I believe, a master bender. No, we're still a powerful bender. Uh, what's our personal combat? We have... Where's the where's the shield, though? Uh, oh, there it is. God damn, Holy Fury is really messing with my brain these days. Seven. He has a personal combat of four. In theory, you'd assume you'd win this, seeing as we have both the powerful bender traits. Got, we've got more martial. We've got more bending traits. We've got positive jing. We've got some leadership traits, if that plays into it at all. We're a genius. We're a brilliant strategist. There's no way he can beat us, surely. Your opponent charges at you, sending you for sending forward several gusts of wind that send you flying to your feet and impacting against the floor. Okay. Um, inflicting one damage. Uh, I mean, seeing as we've taken a positive jing, I feel like we almost always have to attack, right? Can we make use of our skills? I... You use your baffle ability for a chance to flee the battle safely. No, I must simply attack. Your attack fails to connect, missing them completely. Oh, shit. Oh, God, 12 damage. Holy shit, that seems huge. Oh, we hit him for 12 damage. We only inflicted 7, though. That's fine. As long as we don't miss again, we, I think we'll, we'll easily deal with this fight. Shit. So we're at 15, he's at 16. Yeah, we've really clawed it back here. We missed. He's failed. Strike again. Uh, we failed to inflict any damage because he blocked it. He inflicted one. I hate dual systems. I've said this so many times, but I hate adding extra dual systems to the game. Just use the base game one. Fine. Down to nine HP. We're at 13 HP. We're going to win this. We've actually won this. Two HP. Oh. He tried to use baffle. Attempted to flee, but we catch him. Oh, my son. I can't believe you tried to escape me. Dishonorable. That's massively dishonorable. Finish him. Yes. A fatal mistake. What do you think? That was an honorable battle. You may go. Let him walk away beaten. I will show you no mercy. To be fair, he did break the code of honor and tried to flee from the battle. He challenged us to a battle, realized he couldn't win, and then tried to run away. That is dishonorable. We could kill him. His son would inherit. Batu my cabbages. Ah! 
In face of death. Yong10987 of my cabbages does not go quietly, cursing your name and promising retribution. With the final blow, the insults and threats are silenced and the duel ended. We've done it. Are we now a kinslayer? We are not a kinslayer. It technically wasn't us that killed him. It was the air. <laughs> that's my excuse and that's what I'm sticking to. Alright team. Uh, we've got some tech advances. That was nice. All I had to do was kill my son. Construction again. I feel like it's so good. Um, I mean, what can we not build at this stage? Church infrastructure level 4. Improved keeps level 4. Fine. You know what? Church infrastructure probably not a bad idea. I'll also go for improved keeps as well. That gives us access to basically everything at this stage. Um, training grounds are massively beneficial. I should be building those long before I build all this shit in the factory. Um, disease resistance. Tax income. Vassal opinion. I don't think that vassal opinion is working though, is it? I'm going to assume that one doesn't work. Uh, absolutely not. No, that's not working in the least. Legion's Jane. Uh, uncontrolled vassal wars. Technology grandfather. Yeah, no, it's not working. All right. That, that, I was kind of expecting to be a little bit broken, but I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that the actual, uh, the other bonuses work quite well. I don't really want anything else, though. That's just basically going to give tax income 0 0.10 for 275 gold. That's not a good investment. Armor isn't worth it because we can't build armor. Chemical plant just gives disease resistance. We're already at 50%. I mean, agricultural also probably not worth it unless we want spirituality. But if we wanted spirituality, we'd just build up our damn temples. Fine, we'll just invest in the training grounds instead. We're dead. We won't do any such, such thing because we have died. Elder Oolong, who to not look identical to his father, has grown his hair out. So bit. Alright then. Um, We need to have a child and fast. Otherwise, we're going to end up playing as Monk Useless the Popular. Ironic that he came out incredibly good. All right then. Uh, I mean, I haven't got a particular a particular focus on wives. I just marry a genius. She seems pretty great. Oh, she's already married. You should probably probably you know check that first. Uh, age whistle by age. We've got um, a genius earthbender. Tai Yu. Uh, lovers pox. I mean, that's a small price to pay, I guess. Right, send her a gift, buy a favor, and then invite her to court. Done. Well, that was easy. I was, I was assuming that to be way more difficult. We're going to import a wife from Ba Sing Se, a powerful earthbender. She's actually also very good. Brave, kind, patient, deceitful, zealous. Zealous is an issue because obviously she won't convert, but besides that, we're pretty good. Right, arrange marriage you to Oolong. There we go. And we'll take the... I was going to say the prestige, but actually I'll take the gold because we want to build up the ram a little bit, right? Let's put our boats down. And what I'm thinking is this dude might be the one to be able to take the, the Eastern Air Temple. Now, we lost our claim on the other province because obviously we didn't push it. Oh, my God. The council love us. Holy shit. Um, we'll just start fabricating fresh. Ideally, we'd like to play as a young character. So, maybe by the time this guy has a son that's of age, he could die. Hint, hint. That way, we're playing as a young child. He's got his whole life to fabricate claims and actually try and push for it rather than, you know... Pushing for half of a temple or something. I don't really want to do that. It's, it's a little bit clunky to do that. Um, family focus. No, no, no. Seduction. Beyond all else, let's go for seduction. I should have probably seduced her before we actually married her. Let's make her our designated region. Let's try and just get her to be our friend, first and foremost. Uh, groom and heir, naturally. For an extra 20% fertility on top of the 25% and the 10 sex appeal there is going to hopefully make this go a lot smoother. We need to keep this dynasty alive. I'm not, I'm not letting... How many members of my cabbages still live? 10? Ooh. Uh, wow. Okay, I was kind of expecting it to be more than that, to be honest with you. Yeah, a little bit annoying. Okay, so we are one over our domain limit, which is a lot better than I thought. I'm going to be honest. I thought that would be a lot, lot worse than it actually has ended up. Um, we might need to give away our province. I don't know, though. We can't make Kyoshi Island. I think Kyoshi has to make Kyoshi Island, unsurprisingly. I feel like we could get one stewardship. I mean, 10 stewardship is very, very low. Oh, shit. We're not a genius. We're strong and attractive. We could get a strong, genius, attractive child, though, which would be insanely good. It's very, very rare, but it is possible. Now, Gavelkind hasn't split us off or anything. No, no. We are still good there. Yeah. All right. I just wanted to make sure everything went smoothly. Let's claim elder status because we are. Let's search for a guru, and then we'll go on a spiritual journey and try and unlock our chakras. I feel like if anyone's going to do it, Oolong My Cabbages, who doesn't have the genius trait, although is still, you know, 32 diplomacy, 32 martial. That's insanely good. This guy's going to be the one to do it. I can see it. Unlock your chakras and become the master. My lord, the wise guru Popo. Oh, lord. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Mr. Popo. All right, then. Um, Let's go on a spiritual journey. 
Join me, Popo. It was 600. I don't know if you saw that. It was 666 gold. Uh, 66.6, not 666 gold. That'd be absurd. I wonder where the travels will take me. Come on, Guru. You've got you've to teach yourself to unlock these chakras. Now, every time I've employed a Guru, we haven't actually had the event. So this might be the first time we even try it. And even then, we might get unlucky. So I'm not going to get my hopes up too much. Just make sure everything's set up. And we're good to leave court. Your character is the subject of Ember Island Plays. Thank you, wife. Remind me to beat you when I get home with my airbending. Oh, we're a lunatic? Oh, and yeah, okay, we're a lunatic and we're stressed. We get one marshal, though. That's nice. We're up to 33 marshal. Following in our father's footsteps. Get the trait kind. We already had the trait kind, so I just keep the trait kind, I guess. This event does nothing. Books have always fascinated me, and when I heard that a friend of mine is a scholar and a member of a small group of people dedicated to studying books, discussing them and learning more about a world through philosophy and science, I had to know more. Basically, if it, depending on which you pick, it doesn't matter. So I'll just go with this one to gain the prestige. That one, we're actually getting a tangible benefit out of it. Greetings, fellow airbender. Hi, Elder Oolong. Um, you're not spending appropriate effort on matters of theology. I own you. Get out. Get out of my office. Cactus Addict. All getting the trait stressed. I feel like I'll take the trait stressed, seeing as we're already stressed. Shame <laughs> it's not a trait like, you know, die of dehydration. After many weeks, it's become clear that young pupil Soten has decided not to follow tradition. My half-brother... Go and live, Soten. Get out. Go and travel. Again, the, the group of scholars, which I really don't care about. Come on, let me unlock my chakras. Oh shit, we've inherited more land that we can't hold. God damn it, we came home. Ah. We're never going to get that goddamn event. All the money wasted on gurus as well. That's that's depressing. Right. Okay, let's uh, oversee construction. Let's give uh, Popo the meditator or the mediator. Um, let's go for Popo the court guru actually being a court guru because he's an incredibly good character. Do I have some religious issues here? Nihilist provinces in the northern air temple. Or the western... Northwestern air temple. Um, let's just start proselytizing, I guess, and trying to convert it over to... Uh, we haven't got a good diplomat either. What is that? Flirtatious? How does he get that? That sounds cool. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try and employ a decent diplomat. Especially as we need ourselves a decent diplomat to... Obviously, be fabricating claims, right? So, let's just take a look through the list. See if we can't find anyone. Oh, God. This is not going well. We're already down to 19. That's way less than I'm kind of hoping. Uh. Wow. Really? Not looking good. Oh, Lord. We could be here a while. All right. Uh. Oh, hang on. Was that a maybe? That wasn't a maybe. It was just a flag. Um, I feel like we might as well just... Imp Hang on. This guy's 15. Oh, God, that's not very good. Is that really the best we've got in the whole of the goddamn world? I might have to employ someone, see if we just, you know, roll the dice and get lucky. Um, oh, we can't employ anyone. We can employ a bender? It does cost 78 gold, though, so no? Shit, that's not good. Um, we might as well do the feast and the summer fair and the spiritual celebration things. We really don't do those. Donate to charity. What does that give us? Monthly spirituality, temple vassal opinion plus 10. That's pretty significant when we've only got temple vassals. Shit. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit disappointing because it's going to mean our plans to try and fabricate claims are going to be hindered a little bit by the low skills of our mediators. Shit. And we haven't got any claims at all, have we? Nope. We can push claims for other people. But that won't really help too much. Alright. We might just have to play the waiting game when it comes to this one then. Alright. A little bit of a shame. Now... Stewardship is definitely going to be something we want to focus on when our child, our, our our good heir is born. Not that we're apparently having a good heir or anything like that. Teach virtue. To get the trait diligent. That's going to make us both like one another a little bit more, I suppose. Um, I mean, what can I do to make her like me any more than that, really? Land her? Maybe not. No, I don't think that's I don't think that's necessary. We'll hold a summer fair. Sure, that'll make the peasants happy. I don't think we've had a summer fair or game. There we go. Wow, okay, I, I really misjudged you, my friend. Thank you for helping. Uh, what is this? A, an independent kingdom. Oh, they're sandbenders. Not even part of Earth Kingdom, eh? Just completely, completely separate. Weird. Earth Kingdom's so massive, isn't it? Christ. What is this one? What the hell is this one? Uh, oh, just an independent... Yeah, but what is this? Like a bunch of northern, northern Earth. Earth seems like it'd be fun to play as. With the, with the build cost, that seems incredible. Earth spirituality. Earth, naturally. Why? Okay, weird. A separate collection of theocracies, I suppose. Very strange. I had 
invited a monkey trainer to the summer fair. Of course I had. I'm going to say, um... Proofs of honesty. Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll just increase vassal opinion rather than getting five prestige. That was not worth it at all. We got 15 prestige for that. My wife is pregnant. Thank God. Give us the son that we've always wanted. Stuart, uh... Batu is an okay Stuart. He's not incredible. Popo, you're back to being guru. I don't know why he quit. Why did he quit? Very weird. Okay, spiritual conversion. Thank you. Go and do that. Let's get... Uh, no, you can still study. And we'll get you collecting taxes. And let's just build up all the gold we can to make sure our claims go as smoothly as possible. There's not, not really much else to do, is there? That's the one thing this mod really lacks is, is the ability to do stuff, right? So in the base game, you've got, obviously, your, your many societies. Like, the Warrior Lodges always have stuff to do. The Hermetic Society always has stuff to do. There's Jam Yang, a daughter, so irrelevant. You've got, um... All, I, I don't know, it just feels like the base game is so event heavy these days. Especially because, uh, obviously with Holy Fury, they've added the, the, the religious events, they've added the tribal events, they've added the pregnancy events. They've added a lot of the way of life focuses, which they've had to take out of this, for, obviously, for, for flavor reasons. Will make much sense, I suppose, if, if Christian priests shouted at you for building a tall tower. Let Batu oversee the construction? Sure, why not? It's not like we haven't got gold to spare or anything at this stage. We should really be building trading grounds absolutely everywhere. Oh shit, that also gives 20% garrison. Nice. Let's just spend some gold. I'd like to keep 1,500 in the coffers, just in case we get that ducal level claim, because that's how much it will cost. It, it will be quite expensive. Um, honestly? Uh, militia training ground for the levy size. Let's see what we can build on Yoshi's Island. Um, Castle Town, Barracks, Training Grounds, Morale of Armies plus 10%. Yeah, we should definitely go for that. We'll keep we'll keep the rest of the money around. Get straight humble, that'd be pretty decent. Nothing. Then we want to flip stewardship, like I said, and actually try and uh, try and get enough stewardship to be able to hold all of our provinces. Another daughter, Yang Cheng My Cabbages. Annoying. That's that's not helpful. Um, I can't believe we haven't had. Oh my god, I know what that event was then. I can't believe we haven't had a son yet. Just two sons, and you know what's even less believable is not a single one of them has had any congenital traits. I mean, I mean, just talking out of all the congenital traits. Each one has, I believe, a 30% chance to inherit. So, naturally, you're, you're far less likely. Eventually, they will die out in families over time. Unless you're particularly focusing on it, at which point I believe it goes up to... It's additive, so it goes up to 60%. Which would make sense if both your parents are genius, that you have a, a slightly above average chance to become, you know, genius. The fact is, though, we've got three congenital traits between two parents. Each one has an individual 30% chance, a unique 30% chance being inherited. So the chance of getting any of them is quite high. Or, the, or I should say, no, I phrased that wrong. The chance of a child having at least one of them is quite high, is what I meant to say. Not, not Each child isn't likely, each one's only still 30% chance. But um, yeah, it's, it's just weird that we haven't had any so far. Anyway, I agree, we must abandon conflict. We vote yes to isolating ourselves further, sure, why not? Wife, have another babby, make it a son. And then that will work out incredibly well in terms of the age. Oh god, okay, we've got this event again. Um, I think we've had this now with three characters. Basically, we're gonna summon an old god. It's, it's remorse all over again. Game one learning though, that's pretty great. The cult is gathered for the ritual at the shore of the Black Stormy Sea. The chanting begins. Punglui num flag blah. And in the depths of the dark waters, something stirs. What have I done? I must stop this. We come near a longboat. I steer the longboat through the raging waters towards the monstrous creature. It stood as tall as a castle tower with the body of a man and the head of a great tentacle beast. We crashed the longboat into... So in the original Cthulhu story, I forget it. It's a, it's a story of like a Norwegian sailor who finds Cthulhu and then they crash. The, like the crew goes mad and then he crashes the longboat into Cthulhu's head and it regenerates or something like that. That's what that whole event is based on. Uh, Get straight God Slayer though. That's incredible. Marshal plus three, Intrigue plus two, Personal Combat plus four. Well, whenever I see the event, I'm like, oh god, it's this event again. But really, I should be like, holy shit, this is an incredibly good event for Marshal characters. Christ. Man, he's so good. 36 Marshal, and he doesn't have the Genius trait either. Bear in mind, our father had the Genius trait and only had 32 Marshal. My friend, tell me... No. What we should do is try and steal some artifacts. Good good thinking, Brain. Um, I think Fire Nation would have good artifacts. Uh, speaking of which, Obsidian Axel the Shatterer. Can we go raiding? I'm going to assume... No, we are pacifist. Yeah, okay. I didn't think that would be the case. It would be a case of... Finding people with artifacts invited to a court. The issue is I don't have the artifact search bot enabled right now. So actually finding people with artifacts is a bore lake. Unless you search for specific artifacts. So... 
I'm gonna not worry about that. That that's that's for the future. My wife Taiyu is pregnant. Third time's a charm. Let's see if we can't get ourselves that incredibly good son. Our son was born to Grand Elder Oolong the Noble and Lady Tai Yue of the Western Air Temple named Hajaravarman. Please. We've done it. Holy shit, hang on, is this the first strong genius character we've ever had? Uh, strong, attractive, genius. 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 Oh man, we've had a lot of fucking geniuses, eh? Holy shit. I suppose we have been- I have specifically only been marrying genius characters, that's not much of a surprise in hindsight. Man. That's so good. Alright, struggle. You are gonna be trained to be the Martial King. Age zero, he is kind. Age zero, he is diligent. Right, all the eggs are in the Hajarara Ramen. I can't name him that again. I I can't. Jampo, Rinzin, Boma, Denpo. Denpo. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with Denpo. Why not? He is my son. That's so good. Right, uh, Denpo, you need to be educated by Oolong, which is me, by the way. Now what we're going to do, change of plan. You know I said I wanted to do a ship. I've lied to you all. I'm going to the theology focus. Two reasons. Number one, we'll learn a lot of virtues out of it, which we, which we can, in turn, pass on to our son, Denpo. But also, we... There we go. Fulfill the theology focus, funnily enough. Right. Let's see if we can't make this kid an unstoppable beast of a character. Oh, he's now our heir. What a surprise. Did Useless die? Useless, my brother. Died a natural death at age 57. Oh, God. That doesn't bode well for us. Thank you for watching. Next episode, we will raise and turn Dempo the Chosen One into... The Emperor of the Air Nomads confirmed. That's what's going to happen whether you like it or not. Um, I've, I've just decided I'm going to win. <laughs> Big shout out to my insane top tier level patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Jackson Woodman, Escape, Croesus, James Ogilvy, Conspire Team, Necrofilm, Michael Mullen, Hey Dog, Orcs Wolf, Josh Dean Tesla, Logan Thorne, Average Gamer 419, and I'm the Lizard King for their support the insane tier levels of Patreon. And as well, to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Facundo Vasquez, Felix Deal, Quet Lutchley, Brandon Mintoniak, Polemaster, Everqueen his wife, Quasar Fox, Chris, Joseph Beer, Sir Thor the Swede, Nick, Sedini, Asro, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, Euphrates, Jordan Campbell, Yoran DeVries, Duncan27, and the many, many others over at Patreon as well. Thank you very much for your support.